Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of this, we will see another three interesting questions. Since all these three questions are quite related to each other, I just want to cover in a single video. So the first question is, can we create an index on top of a primary key constraint column? The second question is, can more than one index be created on same column? Of course, the first question and the second question are very much similar to each other. And the last question is, by dropping a primary key, will, will it drop the underlying index automatically? First, let us understand what happens when we create a primary key. So here I'm just trying to create a table called T with one single column called column one of number data type. I'm making this column as a primary key column. Okay, I'm creating a table. The moment we create a table with a column as a primary key, Oracle automatically creates an index. Let us see what are all the index that got created for this table. So you can go and check in the user underscore index data dictionary. You can see that there is one index called T underscore PK1 that is created. It's nothing but the name is derived from the constraint name only. Okay. Now let us query user constraints uh, data dictionary to see what are all the constraints created. So it created one primary key constraint and the constraint name is t underscore pk1. So whenever you create a primary key, Oracle automatically creates two things. One is a constraint and another one is an index. Okay. Now the question is, since there is already one index created now that is automatically by Oracle, can we go and create one more index on top of this? That is the question. Of course, the second question also very similar to that. Can we create more than one index on the column? So in this case, since Oracle, Oracle automatically creates an index, now the question is, can I go and create one more index? Suppose now I'm trying to create one more index called IDX on column one. So this is the question. Will this index is allowed or not? Okay. Okay. By default, when you try to create an index on a column, which is already indexed, okay, Oracle will not allow you to create an index. Whether the previous index is automatically created or a user created, it doesn't matter. As far as a column has an index, by default, Oracle will not allow you to create a one more index. Okay, it will clearly say that such column list is already indexed, but you can create an invisible index by specifying a keyword called invisible, invisible as part of create index TDL, you will be able to create it. Now you can see that index ID one, IDX one is created. Now let us go and check our user index data dictionary. You will be able to see one index called T underscore PK one, which automatically got created as part of constraint creation. The second index IDX one is just now created. That is we created on top of the primary key column. You can clearly see whether the particular index is visible or not. There is a one column called visibility. Okay. So uh, the answer to the first two question is uh, you will be able to create, but one thing is that you will be able to create only an invisible index. You will not be able to, that is at a time, uh, two indexes should not be visible for a particular column. To know more on invisible index, I have already posted one video on what is an invisible index and how to create in this particular video. That is the video number 17. The link is given in the description. I suggest you to watch through that. Okay. Now that we know that uh, we will not be able to create an index or if at all we want to create, we will be able to create only the invisible index. Okay. Now the next question is, now if we go and drop the primary key constraint, will the index get automatically dropped or not? So this is the question. So, okay, rather than answering uh, directly for this question, I, I just want to show you three scenarios so that by end of this video, you yourself will be able to answer whether dropping a constraint will drop the underlying index or not. Fine. Now let us see what are the three scenarios. Okay, now we will see three scenarios to understand whether dropping a primary key will drop the underlying index or not. The first scenario is I'm just going to create a table with a primary key column. Since we are creating a table with a primary key column, Oracle automatically creates an index. 
right that's what we have just saw now we are going to drop that primary key then we can go and check whether the index is dropped or not fine first let us do the same thing since i have already created the table i'm just dropping the table t okay now i am creating the table with one column and making this column as a primary key column fine now let us check the user index um, data dictionary just to ensure that there is an index created now i am checking user constraint data dictionary just to check whether the constraint is there yes the index is there the constraint is there now i am just going and altering the table to drop the constraint okay i have altered that means the constraint is dropped so now the question is whether the index is dropped or not first let us check the constraint uh, user constraint data dictionary as you can see here there is no record right now that means the constraint is dropped now the question is will the index will be dropped or not fine now let me execute the uh, query now if you see in the user index there is no record that means the underlying index is automatically dropped okay so this is the first scenario in the first scenario by dropping a primary key automatically drops the underlying index also fine now let me show you one more scenario in the second scenario what we are going to see is i'm going to create a table t with column called col1 column 1 note here that i am not making the column as a primary key column at the time of table creation itself i'm just creating a table and i'm just creating with one column called column 1 now i'm creating a b tree index on that column 1 after creating the b tree index now i am altering the table to make the column 1 as a primary key column fine till now we'll execute the query then we'll come back to the scenario so let me first drop the table table is dropped now you can see i am simply creating the table with one column called col1 and it is not a primary key column it just i am creating a table with a column there is no constraint right now fine table is created now i am creating an index on the column okay so i am just creating an index on the column one fine now let us first check whether the user index because just now we have created a user index yes an index is there we'll check the constraint there will not be any constraint because we have not created a primary key constraint till now now what i'm going to do i'm just going to alter the table to make the column as a primary key column okay this is the difference from the previous scenario in the previous scenario while creating the table itself we mentioned that column as a primary key column but in this case i am creating a table i am creating an index on top of that column then i am modifying the table to make the column one as a primary key column fine let me execute this now you see the table is altered uh, to make the column one as a primary key now let us check the user constraint data dictionary you can see that the constraint is created now let us go back and check the user index there is no additional index created this is very important point oracle uses the underlying index to enforce the uniqueness okay so this is one key difference so in this case oracle is not going to create one more additional index only if there is no index oracle will create an index whenever we try to create a primary key fine now now that we created the table we created the uh, index on the column we altered the table to make column one as a primary key column now since the column is already indexed now oracle is not creating any new index fine now let us go and drop the primary key to check whether dropping the primary key automatically drops the index or not okay i am now going on altering the table to drop the primary key yes you can see here table is altered now let us check the user constraint obviously the constraint is dropped now let us go back and check the user index table to see whether the index is dropped or not of course the index is not dropped okay the key thing here is that index will get dropped automatically only if that particular index is created automatically by oracle in the previous scenario the index was created automatically when we create the primary key column whereas in this scenario index was manually created by the user 
and when we create the primary key oracle uses the existing index to enforce the uniqueness and that is the reason oracle is not dropping the index okay so this is the second scenario let me explain you one more scenario okay okay of course in this scenario the underlying index will not get dropped that is the key learning let me show you one more scenario the third scenario is exactly the same as second scenario like i'm creating a table with column one and i'm creating a index on the table that means on the column one then i am altering the table to make the column one as a primary key column in this case obviously oracle will not create a new index it uses the existing index to enforce the uniqueness and the key learning here is that while dropping the primary key we can specify an additional class called drop index class which will drop the related index okay now let me show you the scenario 3 so first let me drop the table now i am creating a table without a primary key column table is created i am creating an index on this column index is created first let us check the user index just to ensure the index is there or not same way let us check the user constraint data dictionary table to check whether the constraint is there obviously constraint will not be there because just now we created only the index now i am altering the table to add a primary key column sorry to make the column as a primary key now we'll go and check our user constraint yes constraint is created we'll check the user index yes there is only one index there is no extra index created now i am going and altering the table saying that alter table table name drop constraint constraint name additionally i am giving this class called drop index okay so this extra class called drop index will drop the constraint along with the index that is the key learning here now the table is altered let me just query from the user constraint obviously the constraint is dropped let us go back and check the user index see you can see here the underlying indexes also get dropped see now i have showed you three scenarios by this time you will be able to answer whether dropping constraint will automatically drop the index or not so the answer is not the straightforward answer like yes or no it depends on the scenario the scenario is if the index is created automatically by oracle at the time of constraint creation then drop constraint would drop the index otherwise it will not drop the index if at all we want to drop it explicitly then we can go and specify an additional class called drop index class i hope you would have learned something new today if yes please like this video and thanks a lot for watching this video and if you want to know more about oracle sql PL SQL interview questions and practical questions uh, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching